you look at uh, all of the facts that you have available to us. Roger Goodell is used to the spotlight, named commissioner of the NFL in 2006. But with little fanfare, he arrived in Seattle recently to visit a friend. Well, I met Zach four years ago, and I just took to him immediately. He's just uh, hes a special young man who always wants to make a difference. He is Zach Leistat. At 13 years old, Zach collapsed on the field after a middle school football game. Seven years later, Zach is still recovering from a severe concussion. Goodell met Zach in Seattle at a Seahawks sports training camp in 2010. The two became fast friends with a common interest. He wanted to take his circumstances and say, I want to make sports safer for other kids. And we are proud to partner with him on it. And that was what really got me. Together, that partnership, along with the Brain Injury Alliance of Washington, is changing the way concussions are managed in youth sports nationwide. Earlier this year, Mississippi became the 50th state to pass the Zach Lystat law, stating that any athlete in any sport be removed from play at the suspicion of a concussion. That athlete cannot return to play until they're cleared by a medical professional. I think it's saving kids' lives. That's why the education on how uh, to manage a concussion. You're supposed to win in doubt, sit them out. Uh, well, listen to that. I really believe when I first learned about the law that started here in Washington, and I understood how important it really was for our kids to be playing sports safely. And that's what we've done. But it hasn't come without criticism. This year, the NFL settled a $675 million lawsuit with former players suffering the lifelong consequences of concussions. Goodell found himself in the hot seat. But I, I would tell you that uh, the most important thing is we set the example. What is the NFL doing at that level to address concussions? Because there are critics out there who say, we know these athletes are getting concussed and we suspect that they're not coming out. I might take a little issue with you. I think you know, that's one of the things we had to do is have a culture change. I believe our players are raising their hands. I believe other players are raising their hands. We focus on rules, we focus on equipment, we focus on research, and we focus on that culture change of it's okay to say when you have injury. When in doubt, sit it out. And our players are doing that. Get out, slowly lower. A message echoed by Zach. It's not worth the rest of your life. It's just not worth the consequences that it could, that could happen. It's just not worth it. Despite his injury, Zach is still a football fan. In fact, the commissioner has invited Zach to two Super Bowls, including the Hawks' win over the Broncos. And the pair met up earlier this season for the Seahawks' home opener at CenturyLink Field. What do you think of the team this year? It's a long season, and you know you have to hit your stride at the right time. I think the Seahawks have represented this community in a great way, and, and the fans have represented football in a great way. I think the way they came to New York last year and their, their passion and their support of the team and uh, the way they uh, treat their team when they're here, um, that 12th man is really a, a quite an experience, I'll tell you that. Another experience Goodell calls one of the greatest privileges of his job is welcoming in the fresh draft class. With the first pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, and the tradition of giving the commissioner a hug. I would tell you one of the, the greatest moments for me is when those young men are drafted into the NFL and they come out on that stage and uh, they're just feeling that emotion that look at all the work I've done to, to realize this great dream of being drafted in the NFL. And it's to be a part of it, for me to be out on that stage, uh, despite the physical danger that I'm in when they come out there because their emotion is so great. <laughs> They, and no, they're great, and they, but they, you know, they, they never expect it. Goodell says protecting those athletes is a job he takes seriously, but admits there's still work to be done. And to remind him of that mission, he keeps Zach's football card on his desk. He's taught me uh, how important it is to stay focused, uh, to never give up. His love of sports, his passion for sports, even though he was injured. He's been quite an inspiration for, for me personally, but also for the NFL. A friendship forged on matters of the head, kept together by matters of the heart.